Welcome to a how-to video for the tutorial. The first step is to choose your directory. Click on the CD button and navigate to the output file that you want to use. Press OK. The next step is to select your Z. Click on the Select button and open the tutorial dataset, which you should have previously downloaded from the website. Highlight Z and press Open. In the Subjects window, type in 8. Runs 1. Click Estimate Scans. Make sure that all of these are checked off and click the Process button. A subject file will now be created for each of your eight subjects. As they are created, you should notice them under the All Files list. Once the Creating Subject File window disappears, make sure that you have eight .mat files, one for each subject, as well as a Z0.mat file. Now you're ready to load your mask. Click on the Mask button, open the Tutorial Dataset once again, and open the mask. Once it's loaded, you should see its dimensions listed here. Now you're ready to select a G. Click on the Select button under the Model panel, open the Tutorial Dataset, and open G. You'll see a G Parameters window. In the Conditions box, type in 4. In the Time Bin box, type in 8. Return to the Conditions box and press Enter. You should see four conditions listed under the condition names. To rename them, rename them, double click on them. Condition 1 will be two letters. Condition 2, four letters. Condition 3, six letters. Condition 4, eight letters. Press OK and click OK again. Now, G under the Processing panel will be activated. Ensure that only Apply G is checked off. You will be extracting and rotating at a later time. Click on Run. It will now go through each of the eight subjects, applying G to the Z matrices. It will also create a C matrix for each of your H subjects. Once this is done, you are ready to extract components. Click on G on the Processing panel to activate your options. Click the box beside Extract. For simplicity reasons in this tutorial, we will just be extracting two components. To determine the number of components to extract in a normal CPCA process, 
click on the scree button and you will see a scree plot. Once again, for simplicity reasons, we will just be extracting two this time. Once again, click on Run. Press the Stats button. Select Component 1 in the drop-down menu. You should see a graph that looks like this. This component may need to be flipped. To do so, press the Flip Components button. Once this is done, press Plot Components. File, Save As, and save your graph. Do the same with Component 2. Select Component 2 in the drop down menu. Note this one does not say this needs to be flipped, so right away, Press the Plot Components button. File, Save As, Alright, so that is the end of this section of the tutorial.